If you live by the physical laws, this will happen. Today we are friends, tomorrow something comes, we will be fighting. Yes or no? Yes? You are sitting there, I am sitting here. We are nice. If you try to sit here, there will be a fight. Yes or no? Isn't this happening even in the closest of relationships on the planet? Not just be between two nations, not between communities, not between societies. Is it not between… happening between husband and wife, father and child, mother and child? Is it not happening? Yes or no? For everybody, for everybody in this world you have a boundary, yes? Your enemy means the boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your neighbor means boundary is there. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your friend means the boundary is here. If he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your spouse means the boundary is here. But if he crosses that, there will be trouble. Your child means the boundary is here. But if he crosses that, there will be trouble. Yes or no? <laughs> if you maintain the boundary, things work in the physical world. If you cross the boundary, any transgression happens with the boundary, beginning of violence has started, isn't it? First step towards violence has begun. Initially it will happen in words, then little pushing and then chopping. Don't think, no, no, I won't do it. You will also do it. This is the way of the physical. So, Picture. Life behind bars, remember the very day I got caught I murdered a rapper and you filed the police report <laughs> Kendrick versus Drake uh, I had wanted to, I already did a little video about it You know, how I thought it was very unnecessary And I know maybe they might not have anything against each other They don't want to see each other get hurt when J. Cole was, you know, and I didn't expect Kendrick to respond, but it touched a nerve. I understand family get touched, whatever. <laughs> family gets mentioned, and people, you know, they feel the need to defend their family, which is understandable. But I want to explore the spiritual aspect of this hip-hop culture. And uh, if this back and forth is really helpful for growing the culture. When I say growing, I mean like uh, maturing the culture, not in terms of making it more relevant so firstly in spirituality we have no issue well let me not speak for spirituality but in terms of something which is beyond physical there's no right or wrong as long as it works people use different ways to grow anything can be used for your growth you know if you do it consciously whatever it is you know some people smoke some people i don't know <laughs> go sit in the ice eat or oh, sex whatever drugs people use it as a way of growing so nothing wrong to it and uh, I understand Kendrick because I also have a savior complex now I was going to compare him to Osho or Krishna because you know Osho also used to attack people you know make a commentary on people but he it wasn't always in reaction it was like obviously I should not talk on people who have experienced something beyond what I know. So in terms of Osho, he responded to, you know, 
whatever her name was, it will come to me. But he was a uh, very, he used some words, you know, just to make his point. In different ways, he always used to talk, in ways that people will consider crude. Love affair never ends. It can turn into a hate affair. She did not prove to be a woman. She proved to be a perfect bitch. <laughs> I love bitches. <laughs> and in other ways, Krishna also talked about killing as a way of uh, clearing, cleansing the culture or whatever, you know? So, in some way, you can say saving the culture or the Dharma, you can call it the Dharma. Anybody who has reached that dimension feels like whichever way they got there is the way to go. So Osho always used to be defensive about his way and he always used to insist that his way is the way that works. And you know, in a way, Kendrick <laughs> so he sees that hip hop culture has to grow beyond what Drake represents with his music. So he took it upon himself to cleanse it. You know, in the way that it worked out, it became a lot more personal and maybe that worked for him, you know? Because then he can kind of dig out and expose all the things that he feels are a virus to the culture or like holding the culture back in terms of growth. So in Kendrick, Kendrick's way is more the way of like, the way Drake has painted is like, you know, the goody goody, good kid, goodness, moral, morality, whatever, you know? Well, people grow at their own pace. Everybody has their own journey. And that's the thing that I realized in addressing my savior complex. And this is nothing new for Kendrick. Because if you go back on uh, section 80, Kisha's song, he's talking about trying to save people and people don't want to be saved. Like J. Cole said, she don't want to be saved, don't save her. <laughs> so Kendrick also kind of addressed it in that he's trying to get her out of whatever and she doesn't, you know. So she's like, don't judge me. You know, and uh, in some ways, if we explore, I'm not going to go into the lyrics because everybody knows. We all know the lines and they're going to be there for a long time. And one day I might go into it for the culture. <laughs> As I do the cultural exploration, I will get into it. But today I just want to focus on growth, maturity. Hip hop is is in infant is in its infancy when it comes to human story, the human story. Like it hasn't been a, a, around for that long. Uh, music as a, a poetry expression has not been around for that long. So there's a lot of growth in the culture is in that way. Where I explore, which I explore from time to time, I will be exploring mostly hip hop and a lot of the influences that uh, have conditioned me and just kind of trying to unravel that conditioning. So in terms of, uh, let's say skill, competition. Competition is more like when it comes to hip hop, it's like, not a team sport, it's not a, like a 1v1, whatever, this narrative there has gone 20v1 or 1v20, whatever. 
it's not that you know when it comes to that what I did and why I didn't feel like Kendrick will respond because it's against his image in his last album Mr. Morale he showed like he was growing and he was using a lot of uh, quotes or let's say speeches talks from uh, Eckhart Tolle, Tolle whatever however you say his name but he was using a lot of his words and just showing that sometimes you have to know yourself and if you spend any time to know yourself you will not care so much about what other people are doing you don't need to bring people down to bring yourself up you know your skill speaks for itself so this is why I felt like it wasn't really right for his image and his image has taken a hit in so many ways because of this you know and uh, we can talk about that because Drake obviously a big hit to his image and uh, spirituality is a lot about uh, character you know demolition let me say destroying the character you know just breaking down the character so in some way the guru's job is to remove all the conditioning which makes you the character you are or like let me say the personality that people hang on to character is more you know a mask persona is a mask so you can wear it a little bit loosely i can't say that The way Kendrick responded was a reaction. It was more of a response. It was mostly conscious, you know. But there's a little bit like where in some lines, a little bit of, um, let me say, personality or pride or whatever, it creeps in. Because now you're doing it for the people. You're not doing it because it's needed. You're doing it for the people okay and that's the kind of you know like Charlemagne says healed people a lot of the times healed people always feel like and I'm saying healed as in like you know Charlemagne also corrected himself at some some point where he was like healing we are always healing everybody's always healing is that everybody is spiritual in some way everybody is always looking for something more you know it's like that everybody is looking to grow whether it's with money or more sex or more food or whatever it finds a different expression there is no need to judge but some people you know like Kendrick was like you need ayahuasca to kind of approach you all the way you know so you can begin from scratch because he wants Drake to be kind of not bring this culture of like uh, whatever you want to call misogyny or whatever where he's degrading women and all this So, that was Kendrick's thing. So, the question is, we know it's not great for Kendrick because many things always, people, when they want to listen to his music in the future, they will reference, you know, they will go back because that's how conditioning works. And Drake, obviously, it will take a lot. uh, Now it kind of went a bit in that direction where there was a shooting outside his house which we don't know it is related but I mean the timing yeah is like it is what it is you know I'm not gonna speak much on it because that's what I felt in the start where it's like some people will understand most people will understand that it is just music but so when there's so many people who are like in different levels of mental health you know one person will say something the other one will say something else and you'll get heated and uh, 
you don't want to give people reasons to, you know, create that situation. So that's why I felt like it didn't need to be 1v1 or whatever, like beef, whatever people call beef. Like anyway, if it's competition, you do your best, someone else do, do, does their best. Uh, the people can judge. There's no need to attack each other, you know. And you can big yourself up, somebody else can big themselves up. But at some point, somebody took it personal, you know, and then it became like this. And the personality part is like, okay, a little bit of uh, pride comes in. You know, you care about what people think. So, your image, you have to protect your image, whatever that is. So, especially when you're a cere celebrity, is a big part of that. You are in the public court, so it needs, there's a more insecurity in that sense because a lot of it, especially for somebody like Kendrick, is that you've taken so much time to curate your email image. Like, you know, like he says, it's not for the fame. Looking at it, Drake he, uh, took a lot of shots. Did he learn from it? I don't think so. Like, his whole thing is like, I get your girl. And then uh, talking about those relationships with girls and I don't know, like Kendrick saying, I haven't seen the man yet. So every time Drake makes a song, like people will be judging him. And even saying the N word, I don't know if I can say the N word because uh, <laughs> I'm African and like it might come out with the wrong pronunciation. And it's not really my culture. So, hip-hop culture is my culture in many ways, but I mean in the sense of that word, those people who claim it, the people who claim it, you know, it doesn't feel right to say it, but that's what I mean, like, uh, so many ways, like every time Drake will try to make a song with somebody from Atlanta, he'll be like, okay, colonizer, something, or, um, Let's say somebody wants to go and visit Drake and take a picture at the mansion. It's like, uh, keep the kids away, you know, the comments will be there. So the image will be very much affected. Drake's image will be very much affected. Like, he can try and just make some pop songs and what that's what Kendrick was telling him, you know. Like, if you want to make some pop songs, I'll dance to it. But, yeah, what is he going to talk about? Because, you know, Drake has kind of uh, just been that kind of guy who, like, rode through a lot of uh, people making fun of him, like memes and, you know, about his goofiness. Like, it's been, become the thing. Like, people just look at him as, like, being goofy. And that's where, where some of the issues come, you know, like, where the hip hop hip-hop purists who are represented by Kendrick, the conservative side of hip-hop, they say, well, you gotta grow up, you know. But these are the people who are, when they're growing up, their music was, you know, the culture was misogyny, you know, like, and hip-hop is still a lot about that. A lot of the older rappers as well, like the, you know, Nas and Jay-Z and Eminem, Snoop, they're still mostly doing music for the club, let's say, for the club and for the rapidity rap. You know, rapping about rapping, that kind of stuff. And Kendrick is also like that, especially when he does features, like he did with Like That. So, is I'm the best. You're talking about you're the best. If people cannot see if you have to say it, then, you know, it kind of takes away from that. And that's nothing against any of them. It's just where hip-hop is in its development. So, if you enjoy hip-hop as I do, you have to look at, like, what will it take for hip-hop to grow? 
and uh, a lot of the time like when Kendrick does his albums and you know people like J. Cole is another thing where it's like people say he won by avoiding this he did it what he felt in his spirit like for me I see that you know but now every time like he'll have to have to change his whole album like whatever the fall off or whatever is supposed to come next because now he can't talk the braggadocious stuff that he normally does like you know I'm the best like this like this they can't touch me all of this it's like now he has to focus more on the maturity aspects he, that he talks about you know how to help people grow like he did mostly on KOD I feel like in that way Kendrick has forced Drake into more where he wanted him to go like talk about more growth stuff and he's also forced J. Cole in many ways to go more into inspiration inspiring people like the way of inspiring people and he himself also like I don't know he hasn't been affected that much unless some family things comes out he didn't take many hits like Kendrick didn't take many hits you know the only things that I'll say might affect him in the future is you know it might come out as like okay now you're just bullying and like he can do a lot of things like features and things also he might people will be like well you can't be calling out Drake for this and then you still doing this and uh, you know doing songs for you know the kind of party you know it's not that it's wrong, not anything wrong with party music it's just the culture that it brings in terms of what they're talking about you know and that's what is like rap music has been defined a lot Kendrick has been fighting against it a little bit with uh, the hat part five and uh, you know in Mr. Morale and things like that where he's like trying to change the culture where it's not always about you know the fun 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 you know like not fun in like the way of expression but like seeking fun you know impressing people trying to impress people so in that sense it will help hip-hop grow and mature more like when people have to question themselves it helps to grow so that's what I'm looking forward to and I hope it goes more in that direction where people will be more comfortable just talking about how they're growing you know instead of always you know you have to talk about this and that for you to be able to sell <laughs> but that's the way society is anyway you have to do what people want and Drake does that well that's why he's popular because he plays to the culture the culture has always been there you know so he's not the one who came up with like singing about women and all of this like I'll take your girl and you know all these girls want me that kind of thing I don't really know but I don't listen to Drake music that much so having said that Let's see, but spiritually speaking, nothing wrong. It's just a little immature in many ways. Like two grown people, grown-ups, or if people who have influence in the community, throwing insults at each other is not going to affect their family life that much. You know, but like, it doesn't look well for the community that's what I don't understand this whole thing like people want beef and you have to kind of bring somebody down for you to be up you know and it's a savior complex like I talked about you know I understand that you feel like you need to save <laughs> something someone like you know anyway we go back, Tupac talked about a F your bitch, you know, 
And then uh, we have Jay Z also. He talked about the same thing. So that's been there. It's nothing new. But we want to act like uh, we are better than that. That's a savior complex. Where you know it needs a bit of healing, <laughs> a bit of growth. <laughs>